Chicago police on the west side pull over former House Deputy Majority Leader Art Turner for no front license plate. They end up pulling him from the car and arresting him for having an outstanding warrant. Turns out the warrant was for a man with the same name yet 30 years younger than him. He's 73. The other man is 33. The other man had tattoos on both arms. Art has none. And if you think that isn't bad enough, the police officers got lost on their way back to the station and Art had to give them directions. What's going on, guys? My name is Disorderly Product News. This is coming to us from CapitalFacts.com. Former House Deputy Majority Leader Art Turner Sr. told me he thought he had prepared himself Saturday to drive to the suburbs to pick up a new Ford F-150 truck by donning a pro-police shirt. Put on that pro-police shirt and you would be all good in the suburbs, I guess. But he never made it that far. Turner, who retired in 2010 after representing the city's west side for decades, managed to drive a block and a half from his home before he was pulled over by two CPD officers because he had no front license plate. Oh, pulling people over on the west side for uh, minor traffic infractions and then escalating the situation. Sounds familiar. I had my registration. I had my title. I had my insurance card and a driver's license, said Turner, who said he gave it to the all to who said he gave it all to the officer. While the officers ran him through the computer, Turner called his wife and asked her to bring his plate to his car. But just after he hung up, he was ordered out of the car. He asked what was going on and was told they had a warrant for his arrest, he said. Turner said he insisted to the officers there was there must have been a mistake. He has no warrants out for him, but he was cuffed tightly, tossed in the back of the squad car, and they were off to the station with the other officer driving his car. Except, Turner says, the officer driving the squad got lost. The two, he said, were part of a new roving citywide unit and apparently weren't familiar with the area. So Art, in back, in handcuffs, in custody, gave directions to the officer on how to get to the police station. The officer made a U-turn while Turner complained that the cuffs were on too tight. Turner said as soon as they walked into the station, he shouted for a death sergeant, but nobody came. He was placed into a holding cell and told to surrender his belt and shoelaces. Finally, a lieutenant who Turner knew from his years living and representing the area came down to see what was going on. He was arrested in the area that he represented in the Illinois House. Made it all the way up to Majority House Leader. Former House Deputy Majority Leader. I'm sorry. And he had a pro-police shirt on. Turns out the Art Turner they were looking for was born in 1986. He has tattoos on up and down both arms and is over six feet tall art will be 70 soon he has no discernible tattoos and is not a tall man a case of mistaken identity this is not this is all bad turner is worried he may have been exposed to the virus while in the cell for the last five months i can tell you the six people i've been around so there's a man who's gone out of his way to stay away from people. So he can tell you the six people he's been around in the past couple of months. Uh, how much you want to make a bet those officers didn't have their PPE on while engaging him? Now, they might. I don't know. I'm just using the laws of probability. Turner, who had hernia surgery two months ago, went to the hospital to get his wrist checked, and they referred him to an orthopedic doctor. He's also filed a complaint. The author of this is Rich Miller. And he says, I've known Art Turner a very long time, and I've never heard him so furious as he was yesterday on the phone. So that this comes to us from uh, CapitalFacts.com. When, 
When Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot was asked about the situation, she offered a brief comment on the incident at an unrelated news conference Wednesday morning calling Turner Sr.'s arrest hard to understand. It's hard to understand that one. It really is, Lightfoot said when asked about the situation. I know that that is actively under investigation by Internal Affairs, so I won't comment further. But obviously, there's a vast difference between a 73-year-old man and a 30-year-old. This incident comes on the heels of another incident in which Lavelle Jordan, a suspect. Uh, oh, wait, we might got the wrong guy. He's got doves tattooed on his cheek. I thought that was the international sign of peace. Uh, being transported to the 25th district when the officer goes to get him out of the back seat of the car. He allegedly pulls a gun from his waistband and shoots three officers. Now, luckily, all of the officers have survived. But he's in the back of a transport car in cuffs. So it's been a rocky week for CPD. They arrest a 73-year-old politician, neighborhood politician, uh, on the warrant of a 33-year-old man. And they forget to pat down the guy who's got the whole species of birds from the Lincoln Park Zoo bird exhibit tattooed on his face for weapons. The pictures you're looking at here are at the 25th District and look like this is the incident site right here. So there you go. There's the news out of Chicago this week. Lastly, I need you guys to go on over to Disorderly Product News, presents the Caparazzi. The link will be in the description, and I'll try and pin it to the top of the comments. Go on over there and subscribe to that new channel, Disorderly Product News, presents the Caparazzi. Uh, it's got a little bit different type of format, but uh, pretty much the same great content. Uh, my name is Disorderly Product News. We're in the middle of the week here trying to get over this hump day. Let's do it together, guys. We'll make it to the weekend. And uh, I'm wishing you and yours a very happy and healthy, safe rest of the work week. My name is Disorderly Product News. Get it!